Ooh. Ants? Ants! As long as they're not in my pants, I'll be right. Ha ha ha! They're all saying, ants in the pants? There is a saying to that. If you put ants in your pants, you can't stay still. Now, I'm going to the opposite side where they're not. Someone tried using some spray. Any left in it? Oh, no. Hold his plastic. Nothing. Well, well, well. We don't always come up trumps all the time. What's he going to give us? Have a look in there. That don't feel real nice. No, it don't. Definitely none there. Okay. On to the next. I better do the doings. Pick up the can that is floating away for her. This is the lady that I usually pick up from. She's been putting them out for a long time now. For us. In a pink bag. Purple bag, whatever you like to call it. Oh, and she's got some in there. She's overflowing, in other words. I'm not here often enough. That's what it is. So we just pluck those out. Those couple. Stuff them in the bag. Take the coal's bag, actually. Take the coal's bag. Alright, that's it. None in here. Definitely none in there. Oh, yeah. Put them in the front. Already got a couple in the front. With all the other goodies. These. Oh yeah. A few in there. What have we got in here? One, two, three. We'll grab four, five, or we'll, maybe six in there. We'll grab them with the grabber. Uh, what do we got in here? A whole heap of dust. Come down a dirty, dusty road. We might have to grab a wool pack out. We'll do this side first. That one there. What the devil is that? Oh no. That one there. Oh yeah, I got it. Got it, got it, got it. There's a few more in here than I expected, really. Damn, now I can't see. Bag got in the road. Let's just pull the bag out. We'll put it back. It's the easy way. That one, that one. There might be some in there. There's one. Take straw out. Another one there. That one there. That's it for that one. We'll put him back. Oh, I missed it. That's him done. Oh, do the same with this one. That one 
not sure on might be able to might be able to yes it's okay barcode still on I'll get out of the bag certainly emptied that out didn't we huh, nothing left except for that one put the bag back I suppose that's it for those pretty good tell you what don't mind getting the old cans Good sideline money. Thought I'd just back up to this one, see what's in this. See how we're going. What's in it? Oh, it's been emptied and a few more bags. What's in neighbour? What's in the neighbour one? Empty. Hello. She's an echoey. Anyway, we'll get up here. She wasn't empty last week. We may fit all of that in here. I reckon we will. Well, you come back here, even if I've got to put tote in the front. I'm not worried if I have to. It doesn't bother me one bit. It's only steel and a bit of alfoil trays. Wind the window down and get a bit of fresh air in vent it that way that way I can put my cover sheet over this and I ain't got to worry about it alright I'm going to pull this up heavy monstrosity oh jeez I can't pull that out it's too heavy how about we just fill it that's the easiest way I won't be able to pull that out of there it's just too much weight ok let's jump in here get this done On there. That one can go that way. Nothing. Grab those three. Nice looking shirt. Won't be leaving it though. Ham can, ham can, what do you like to call it? It's aluminium. I got a bag. Let's have a second check. I'm not tipping it out. It's a plastic lid. Cheese wrappers. I don't know. Little bag. We'll get to the big bag shortly. That's all the small ones. A couple of bags in the bag here. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a nice couple of heavy trays. Damn, they're big. I didn't think they'd come that big. They must do. Truth are huge. That one's still all right. They'll be going to be crushed in my old. Be all crushed up. Nothing there. A blue knock and pop. Hey, hey. <laughs> Chrissy stuff. We're all big kids at heart. Big tray full of stuff though. Not as big as that last one. Turned out a warm day. They were predicting rain. It hasn't rained, it's just come in real muggy, real humid. So that's why I'm not talking much. It's just hot. It's like it's raining on my head. Whew. I struggle with the heat. I like the colder weathers. Just don't get me the snow. That's just no. I was brought up in the snow and no thank you. Uh, they used to call me Overcoat Jones because I was always wearing so many coats. Nothing left in that. Get into this one. That was when I was a kid though, for Overcoat Jones. Even when it was a sunny day in the summer, because we were down in the cold areas of Australia. Oh, another balloon! Oh, ho! <laughs> um, yeah, I'd be wearing a jacket during the summer. So they used to call me Overcoat Jones. That was the parents anyway. No one else would. Into this one. Did they make plastic strong? It. Stop sticking to it. You're free, you're going to another world. You're not going to landfill. You're going to get recycled, mate. Come here. Stop sticking to the bag. Oh, where'd that coat came down? People, people, people. A lot of people. Hmm. 
this one. Someone likes some microwave dinners. Spring rolls. Prawn cutlets. Microwave dinners. That's what I call them. In a packet. Oh, that sounds all right. Or is it that big? Must be that big. Oh, it's Christmas stuff. Oh, another balloon. <laughs> Must have had a Christmas party. Party on. Even got the fish booty. They could have went fishing. Nothing there. One there though. Leave that one to last. Oh, we might be leaving none to last. They all sound good. Pizza boxes, the thing that takes up a lot of room in the trash. Cardboard. Oh, that's a cord caddy. Oh, we got some broken glass here. How about I just empty that down there? No way I don't cut my fingers. It's out of the bag. Mmm, may go through. Brakes on the way home. Can't do much about it. Let's put it in there. Yeah, I don't go over a bump and it crack completely. Ooh, no you don't. never know with broken glass what can happen. Like I only got latex gloves on. Let's go right through these. Oh yeah, we'll take that. Take the regulator. That's a fancy little bottle. She's definitely not 10 cents though. No label on it. taking it. This must have been their uh, handbag. I might be better off lifting it up here. I might do that. Jumping out of here. 
do that bag. No others. Don't look like it. Alright. I'll make things easy. Where's the long rope? Gonna see how long it was. Isn't that long enough? Or... That is that one there. When they're a bag like that and there's so many in there, it's much easier just to put it on the back here and feed it straight in. Right, clean this mess up that I've got. Not in there. Out here, there's none down there. I notice there's two or three, maybe four down there, maybe six. Uh, put our trays in there, cover this over. Go see what we can get in town. Oh, we got a wash machine. Nothing in there. Not that we need to get into there. Got a wash machine there, and we got some stuff over here. Stereo. Oh, yeah, we'll take all that stuff, except for the printers. Take the stereo. For sure. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> You're talking about hot. <laughs> yes, okay, so we grab that an air fryer we'll grab that stuff in a minute got to grab that see how we go with the washer at least it's not busted last one I picked up from here was busted got to work out how I'm going to get it up there oh that burnt the fingers that really burnt the fingers mmm don't look too bad this one might try and fix it myself Take the hose off. Throw the hose in. It's got the filters there. See what the problem is. Mm-hmm. Oh, they cut the cord. That's easy fixed. Just put a new cord in. Another one on the end. Right, this is an eight kilo smart inverter. 8.5 actually. Where is it? Doesn't tell me the brand. Oh, diamond glass, yeah, okay. This mightn't be too bad to lift. I haven't got me trolley, as we all know. See how I manage on my own. It's in pretty good looking nick, this. They've done a warranty claim by the looks of it. The tag there. You gate, oh it's an LG, there's the brand, LG, life's better, life's good they say, geez that's high up that, I might have to go around the side, go around the side here, I'm only a puny little thing myself, so this is where this crane would come in handy really, if I had the trailer, some days I haven't got it all the time so, just one of those things that you, you try and do without. Now, let's heave ho this thing up there. It's a long way up. It's a long way up. Lid come off. No, lid don't come off. Mm, extra person would be handy. 
Anyway, let's bust some pooper. Bust some guts. Ready, ready. Nope, I'm gonna lose that. Where's those water jackets? There. I can't reach the water jackets. It's too bloody hot. Too goddamn hot. Right, I'll get the stereo. I'll work that out in a minute. <laughs> Might put it on the speakers. Put it on a couple of printers. Printers are no good. Not a bad looking stereo. Compact disc player, the whole lot. What brand? Pioneer. Pioneer, Panasonic, something like that. Ooh. It's hot, 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 hot. I might have someone to give me a hand here. Eh? Yes, I will. I've got someone to give me a hand. Woohoo. Sweet Jesus. The manager. Get him to give me a hand. Nah. He's walking away. Like usual. Okay. Let's see how I go. One there. No, that's too far away. Mmm. Couple of printers. Seems to be the go. We'll do that. I haven't got pallets here no more. I'll grab that big printer and we'll put him back. Printer scanner all in one, put it up on top of that. Geez, that's even that's got some weight and heat into it. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. It's still got paper in it. <laughs> I'm not taking it. And a paper jam. That's what that there. That's that. Big paper jam. Sit that there. That is hot. Whew. Right. Put this like this. This up. On top of that. Get to the fire. It's the go. Now we're cooking with gas. Literally cooking with gas. Now we got it. Now we got it. Wow. Thank you, printer. Much obliged, mate. Right. I use that. Oh, that's come loose. There. Up we go. Turn him round. Tie him down. Hot, hot on the hands. Hot stuff, eh? Okay. Use this one. Well, it's handy when you come home, on the boat in the background. Put a new plug on the old washing machine here. Put it on a spin cycle. I will be doing more of a test. It's got about 11 minutes remaining on a spin cycle. Well, I don't know whether you can see that. You may be able to see that spinning around inside there. Um, so I will do go through a few cycles on that, like the whole testing of water level, rinse levels, um, heavy, normal, light, all that sort of thing. Even down to your quick wash, your cotton wash, tub clean, all that sort of thing. Tub clean takes around three or four hours. I know that got to put water in it and that sort of thing so I know what's wrong with it it may be it's come back at, as a 
uh, fault with the water jacks in here uh, where it might be a diaphragm inside there um, or a solenoid or maybe even just a pump because the motor seems to be spinning okay so it's probably an easy fix it has been come back to Harvey Norman with a uh, return returned item apparently probably under a warranty claim more than likely uh, so they've done a warranty claim and done it that way and they've got a new item but anyway getting down to a few other extra things that we got for today um, we got a whole heap of steel down here with the aluminium foil and that's sort of thing underneath that all the steel there we've still got these trays here uh, we've got some potatoes over here uh, got, picked up the stereo also with the wash machine uh, stereo does power up but she just does not work on all the display so it's basically a, a no work uh, speakers are probably okay they look pretty good now I did say Panasonic uh, uh, Pioneer I think it was in the video but it is actually Panasonic the compact disc player does open um, but it's useless without the display because you don't know what you're doing probably the cassette side of it may be okay but I'm not sure the air fryer lights up then turns off so she's a scrapped out job and we got two dozen eggs actually with our pickup today also the dog lead was able to fix it it was just a twisted lead spring wasn't broken or anything like that uh, four tins of tomato uh, spaghetti and tomato sauce that's those little ones and cheese oh okay uh, mushrooms sliced mushrooms in butter sauce two of uh, Greek yogurt natural light a uh, can of gas butane gas got a little bit in it uh, but we've got that many I should not keep collecting them but I hate seeing them in landfill did pick up this this gem right here it's a little owl if you can make it out got his two eyes and the beak there and the feet down here on a pedestal with his wings so yeah, um, we also got a whole heap of cans, cartons, plus and glass. This is our whole load that we had. So um, yeah, but anyway, another note that we've got. This is the crane that I've been talking about. In last week's video, finally got it all mounted. The battery's not staying there because I'll mainly be towing it behind uh, the white ute. Um, it's got an electric winch up there, 3,000 pound winch, which I already had, didn't have to go and purchase it, already had that. Um, so she works off a of control, electric control down here, where are you, sort of a bit lost. Whoop, wrong way, oh, we would better let it down, let him down, let him down. It is on a hydraulic ram as well, so it does come down very quietly. Come to there and put the handle back in. And all I've got to do here is pull onto that and we can come further out with that winch. Now 3,000 pound, you're looking at about a, a tonne and, oh, wrong way wind a fair bit out a ton and a quarter there we go that should come down on its own now i put the little d on there it used to have a hook like this on this but i thought it's much easier to have a d on there than having a hook i never liked those hooks myself give it another tug it should come down now because it's got a fair bit of rope up inside that that's why it doesn't want to work that way yep there we go, there we go, there we go. And I can jack it back up and all that sort of thing. I can actually extend this back in so I can put more load on it. Probably about a tonne. It's got a three, three, three tonne ram on there. Um, I can spin it around as well. So I can do all of this sort of jazz in a basically almost a 360. Um, it just comes back to all the wires that are down here. That's all it is. Uh, it's pretty easy to turn pretty good setup just put the jack handle here pull it around i can put stuff in the trailer 
all that sort of jazz. So the height that it was at, which is up here, way up, way up, was the highest it could go. So, and when it's traveling, I, I actually um, pull it around this way. Don't do that with that, that'll break it. Um, around to there, I collapse this back in, all the way in with the pin that's up in here. Pull that pin out, out that comes from the top. I collapse this right down, and I've got a chain down here that I hook it on. So I hook it on that for transport, uh, so it doesn't swing around while we're driving along. So yeah, and, and I've got this on an Anderson plug, Anderson plug style, so I can put a battery on it with alligator clips. If I want a battery there, if I don't want the battery there, I can just plug that straight into my vehicle with uh, an extended length of wire, because on my white one, I've got an Anson plug underneath in the trailer plug. Anyway, um, I hope this like the idea of the crane. Anyway, I actually lifted the washing machine off with it. I tell you what, first test, I'm all thumbs up for that. Didn't break me back, nothing. I just put two straps around that, right underneath, underslung. Oh, I forgot to mention I picked up this towel too. That's still going. Three minutes remaining. Don't see anything wrong with that. Wow. 8.5 LG top loader. Magic. Magic. Very clean machine. But anyway, if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to smash that like button. More people smash that like button, more people get to see this video. And it also helps out the channel. And also, if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when we put a new video out. So on that note, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.